Okay guys, so peep this. Nas is in full press mode following the release of his 12th studio album, King's Disease. While speaking to The Breakfast Club on Tuesday, August 26, the Illmatic mastermind opened up about the Kanye West produced project Nasir, which he dropped in 2018. The album received mostly mixed reviews and was criticized for what felt like a Kanye rush job. At the time, Ye was juggling multiple albums, including Tiana Taylor's KTSE, Pusha T's Daytona, and Kids See Ghost. After Charlamagne the God asked Nas what went wrong with the project, he replies, I don't know what went wrong, but I would say I did want to work more with him. I did spend some time there with him, but I was working on ideas. He would give me a few loops and I would write to them, but they wasn't finished. Kanye was working on a lot. He had Cuddy, Tiana Taylor, he had his album. I was the only one coming in starting fresh, so I had less time with him. We really did that album the week it was supposed to come out. He adds, I wanted to work with him a lot more than what we did. In a recent episode of the Joe Budden podcast, the show's namesake admitted he was skeptical of King's disease because of Nasir. He ultimately issued an apology for judging the project's quality based on the lead single, Ultra Black. I'm just saying, I didn't see where some of the features were about to take me because I had been thrown off from that Kanye project, Budden said. I'm gonna be honest here, a lot of people out there have been asking and inquiring, hey, is there Nas hate up there? No, there's not Nas hate, but he's such a great that when it's not great, you try to just avoid it, not discuss it, not speak about him in his proper place. Not only did Nas deliver, but Hit Boy did an amazing job. Every one of these features killed. As for King's Disease, the album is receiving plenty of positive feedback. Fans are most surprised to discover a firm reunion on the track Full Circle. The former supergroup was comprised of Nas, Foxy Brown, Cormega, and AZ. It featured production from Steve Stout, the production team Trackmasters, and Dr. Dre, who actually made a cameo appearance on the song. While Nas was working on the project, producer Hit Boy said he'd be willing to reach out to AZ to make something happen. He told The Breakfast Club that's when he knew something special was in the works. I was like, wow, I knew he was really invested, serious about what we were working on when he mentioned A, Nas says. And AZ was working on his new stuff too, so it was perfect. And then G-Code was like, why don't you call Cormega and Foxy Brown? And light bulbs was going off like, let's get at it. They was with it. And then it happened. Dre came at the end and really made it full circle. But what do you guys think? Did you enjoy King's Disease? What was your favorite track? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all of our new videos. And as always, make sure to keep it all the way locked to HipHopDX.com.